guys welcome back to the channel uh, today's video I want to talk about something I just purchased uh, with the rigs growing the number of rigs uh, growing and outgrowing my current network situation I went ahead and purchased a TP-Link 16 port gigabyte and this was about 60 bucks on of course Amazon everything's on Amazon um, I like Amazon because any issues on returns, they are good at that. So love them, hate them. They do handle returns pretty decently. And I do like the TP-Link brand. So what I've been running is uh, with the new CPU rigs and the motherboards I've been adding, I've been running their wireless, the TP-Link wireless USB uh, dongle to just connect to my Wi-Fi. And I said, I just need to get all this stuff plugged in. I don't want all this Wi-Fi energy going through my body or just overloading the Wi-Fi. You know, I had like 10 rigs Wi-Fi all, all over the place. I said, let's just get them on a port, get them all plugged in, and then just have it dedicated, just turn off the Wi-Fi. So I did that. I went with this. It was a good price, enough ports for me to uh, just hook up what I needed and go from there. This is cool. I run my current Wi-Fi from my router I have a cable running from my Wi-Fi here. Let's look at the chart. Here is my setup coming in from my Fios. I have my uh, cable coming into my Fios router. And uh, from the Fios, I run my cable into port one here. And from there, obviously, I'm just going out to all my rigs. And I'm also going out to a second TP-Link switch, which is a five porter, which I outgrew. And I run just a cable out to the end of that one. And then I run that to my main Mac, which I work on. Uh, that's where I'm at right now with the growth. I said, let's just, let's just get a switch. And here's some of the specs on it. This is one of the better ones I found. I like TP-Link. I usually stick with stuff I like because I don't want to be surprised. Here we go. We already saw this. Yeah, there's the internet. I'm coming into my router. Pretty straightforward, you know run that cable out of the back of my router that's running across to where the uh, server room is into the input and then I go to all these things which is for me it's a desktop and multiple rigs so pretty cool easy to use it was plug and play uh, pretty awesome and it tells you it blinks on it I'll show you I'll do a close-up of it it'll blink accordingly like right here Tell you if it's green, it's running on 10, 100, 1000 Mbps. If it's off, no device is linked, obviously. Flashing, transmitting, receiving data, common stuff. If it's, uh, let's see, link account, green. If it's on, it's running at, let's see, 1000 megabytes per second, flashing, transmitting. And if it's yellow, 10 slash 100. And then it's uh, running on 10, 100 megabytes per second, flashing, transmitting, receiving data, basic stuff, basic network switch. Again, it was plug and play. I just got it. And the only thing I haven't done is really any cable management. I'll show you that in a second. So let's switch over to that. Here is the thing. I'll post the link below. Again, 60 bucks is 60 bucks. And uh, it is well worth it. Nice, small, compact thing. And uh, it's working great right now. So let's go take okay, a look. So here is the CPU rig rack. I got a couple GPUs on there. And most of these were wireless running these TP-Link wireless dongles. I disabled them. They were only nine bucks a pop. And I am now running in the cat cable ethernet right into the motherboards. This one is still Wi-Fi because it's a Wi-Fi board. So whatever, I'll leave that one go. But all the other ones are now Cat5, clicking away. I left the dongles in. It's a TP-Link, like I said. There we go, right there. Here's the switch, the network switch TP-Link. Here's my in. This is coming from my Fios router. That's in. And got a bunch of messy cables here. And there you go. That's what it looks like. I got that running. Simple plug and play, as most routers are, most switches are. And I got the one cable running over. I got to clean up some of these cables. I'll clean these up. The reason I don't clean up cables right away, because I tend to find I end up moving stuff a day or two later. And I don't want to tie wrap everything and I have to clip all the ties and restart. 
right now it's fine. I got the cables running hang. There's no airflow problem. It's just, this, this is a new motherboard. Ignore this one. This one's TBD. Uh, but yeah, it's just basic. Run the cables to it. I can run them along the rail. But for me, it works. It's clean. Clean enough for me, right? There you go. One in, four out. One, two, three, four. If I could count. And that's what I have now. Right now, I got that one running in on the far right. Running in from the new switch. And the out is to my Mac. I do try to run as little wireless as possible. Because uh, running the cable is so much more efficient and secure. So that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, great idea upgrade it wasn't that expensive clean things up for me cut down on the wi-fi usage and uh, that is where i'm at just thought i would share that with you guys so there it is keep it on the low 60 bucks on my little home depot baker's rack which cost maybe 60 bucks you know my little ryzen nines running along i got a new ryzen 9 in it was refurbished i will have a video on that later i'm going to put it on this messy motherboard I don't know what this is. Is that a, that's an EVGA I got too. Oh, I got these free, I, I had a, from GameStop, I had gift certificates and I just got this stuff. Pretty much this little motherboard, this MSI, look how small it is. It's like 30% smaller than a 470, but it should take the Ryzen 9 3900. And I got the uh, power supply from GameStop as well. Who knew? I didn't know GameStop had that stuff. So I used my gift certificates and I got them pretty much for free. It's got Wi-Fi on it, but um, do I want to plug it in? I don't know. I might plug that one as well. Keep them plugged in as much as possible. So the only one I have only one on Wi-Fi, and I got my laptop is on Wi-Fi because it doesn't have a cat connector. But this is uh, my little Dell. It kicks butt. But yeah, but it kicks butt, and it's mining GPU on a 3060, and it's on CPU mining as well. And it's mining Monero, oh, is it My, Monero Ocean? Yeah, Monero Ocean. So there you go. That's my current setup, current little addition to the farm. And the other things coming up, like I said, I got a new Ryzen 9 refurbished for 400 bucks. I figured why not try it. Uh, set of spend 500 bucks. So I got that coming in. We'll do that. And the only other video coming up is just handling dust. I did clean off my 3080 Ti's when I got back last night had some dust bunnies in them and it's just like i'm just trying to figure a way to keep the dust out of the grow tent maybe put dryer sheets up or something we'll talk about that later but anyway here it is tp link switch it's a tl dash sg 116 gigabit switch working like a champ all right guys hey thanks for watching nothing exciting but just showing you what you may experience as you grow your farm you may run, uh, outrun your uh, outgrow your current network situation Wi-Fi is good and all, but I prefer everything cabled. Cabled's the way to go. All right, I'm out. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.